Hi, in this video we'll be discussing notes. Now imagine the internal conversations that need to happen between staff members and colleagues. So sometimes a client may ask a question or a query or send you an email and you want to find that information from other staff members or other, other of your colleagues. This leads to a huge back and forth of emails. You might end up sending that email over to another staff member and then wait for the response. Someone might forget to respond to an email and that's where the conversation breaks. This is where notes come in very handy. So if a client, for example, has a question or has uh, called with any query, you can simply add notes to a contact. So in this case, again, going back to Brad, what we are going to do is create a note here on the left hand side. There, there are a few different things you can do. Um, there's notes, you can create tasks or create deals uh, and even tickets. Now tickets might be more for um, a common query where you're waiting for information from a third party. But in this video, we're just going to cover the notes aspect. So what we're going to do is click on note. It opens up a blank note template. All we have to do is type in what the note is. Now, when we start typing, let's say we say this is a test note. We can also tag our team members or other users that are invited in HubSpot. So we might just go add Brad into this, which will then notify Brad saying, hey, someone has left a note for you under this contact information. If you want to further add a task to follow up, if uh, Brad has responded to this, uh, this note or done anything with this note, we can actually create a follow-up task for ourselves as well to follow up with Brad whether this has happened or not. And again, when the more of these notes that we keep or the more of uh, the emails that we send out, then we need these tasks to remind us as to where or what the status of this note is. So I'm just going to create uh, to hit the save note here. When we do that, the note will display here under follow-up. Uh, the, the task will be created here for myself. And if we uh, scroll down, this is the note for Brad. Do note that this note also gets pushed under the company record. So if you go into this company record, that's marketing, which is associated with the contact, the note will also be associated with the company, along with the task that we created as a follow-up task. This note can also be pinned to the activity. So if this is important, some really important information about a specific contact, uh, a specific way to deal with a certain client that you may have realized works really well, you can pin these notes as well, which then uh, means that every time the next person comes into this contact, they can very easily see what's a, what sort of information is quite very relevant to the client. So very simply, if there's a uh, the note here, you can just simply pin this here, which then moves it up the top, and this information will then be available for everyone to access. On these notes, other staff or other, uh, other colleagues can also comment. So in this case, this is a test note for Brad, which means uh, this, the system will have sent a notification to Brad that someone has left a note for you. Then Brad can log in and add a comment to it. Or for yourself, you can also leave a follow-up comment if you'd like which then uh, just creates a thread of notes instead of a thread of emails uh, that are going back and forth. Do note that at the bottom, you do have some formatting options as well. So if you want to underline uh, something or put it in under uh, italics, if you want to um, add a specific link to the client's website or anything similar, uh, add an attachment or an image that can also be done or simply inserting a new uh, a knowledge article as well. So we'll talk more about knowledge articles a bit later on, but this will be um, this will, this will be an article that you may have created in your library, and you can then as, uh, attach that in the note, which can then be forwarded to the staff member as well. So um, the use case might be that uh, a client has come back to you saying, "Hey, I asked for some information. I don't think I got the right right response." So then you can. Uh, create a note for the staff member saying, hey, this is a knowledge base article that you can take a look at for any future queries that may be quite relevant in this scenario. And then the last one is inserting snippets. So snippets are usually things like, I look forward to hearing from you kind regards that are very overly used, so you don't have to keep typing them. Now this does save about 10, 15 seconds uh, every time, but um, it, all of that adds the additional value to your time. So that's a little bit about notes. 
And from the notes, we can also add those tasks, which can then be completed. So if Brad has already done what was asked of him, then we can simply just go and mark this as task. We will cover tasks in a bit more detail in the next video, but this is all about notes. Um, one more thing is that these notes can also be associated with multiple records. So in this case, this note is associated with a contact, which is why when I went into the, uh, sorry, and the company as well. So when I went into the company, this note was also visible there. Similarly, if we have created any uh, tickets or deals for this contact, the same note will also be present under deals and tickets.